Hello, and welcome back to the Renson's Yard. In this episode, we're hydro seeding a lawn. So, for the lawn that we have to do today, we're going to need to make three batches of hydro seed. So, I'm going to measure out the grass seed now, and we're going to put it in these buckets to soak. Uh, this is what we use as a measure. So, we one bucket like this of seed per batch. and we're ready to mix up our first batch. We have all our ingredients in front of us here. We have our mulch, the glue, the measure for fertilizer, and our lawn seed that we're gonna mix into that tank before we go to the client's place.
this is the timer setup that we have. So two timers which each have two zones. That way we can water the whole lawn in increments. And the way we have it set up here is it waters one area for five minutes or ten minutes every two hours. So it's been two weeks since we seeded the grass and we're here to check it out how it grew and also to pick up the sprinkler system that we put out since we're going to need it for the next job. I'll show you around. This is the front one. There's definitely very good growth. Some spots that stay in the shade have a bit less and areas where water tends to accumulate when it rains will also need a bit more time. But overall, this is perfect. And you'll notice that it doesn't really look like grass. Well, that's because the mix of plants that we put on, on the ground isn't entirely grass. It's just a mix of different ground covers. Because in this case, the client wants something that won't need to be mowed very often. So what we have on the ground here will only need to be mowed about once a month. And this is on the side of the house. Once again, very nice growth. And here is the backyard. Having a look here, right next to the house, we can see that where it didn't get watered as much, the mulch didn't quite break down completely yet, but the green color has completely faded, and any overspray that was on the house will easily be washed off by water. And now to give you a comparison, I'm going to drive up to one of the lawns that we did last year and show you the result. This is a lawn after about a year of growth. Yeah, there's a few patches here and there that could be a bit better, but overall it turned out pretty well. And obviously the results vary depending how often you water or trim and just generally take care of it. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Okay.